Last on Salvage One. You're looking at the world's largest body of fresh water. Yeah, hard water. Hardest hit by the intermittent droughts that plague California is this small island of Santa Lea. Whoever submits the most efficient and practical solution to our problem will be awarded a cash prize of $50,000. The iceberg. You betcha. We're going after it this time. I don't know anything about icebergs. We don't have to. Mark 83 microtransmitter. We don't have to do any iceberg research ourselves. A bug. All you have to do is plant that on one of Broderick's people. So we're going to have to go down there and check out the structure that we're going to actually be cutting. To the South Pole? Fire the hole! I'm going in. Harry, it's a 20 foot drop down. There. I know. So we're going to have to find a whole new ice cutting technique. That's right, but I've got it all worked out. Congratulations, you did it. How are we going to move that berg all the way up from the South Pole to California? We got it figured out. Super tug. We'll arrange for it tomorrow. Get the Hollister Tug Company on the phone. Tell them we want to lease the Super Tug. We'll wire the deposit now. I can't wait to tell all the kids at the home that I met you. The home? Santa Lea Children's Home. If somebody doesn't solve the water problem, they're going to close the home. The Super Tug won't work because of the San Diego current. That current is so strong and the inertia of the berg is so great that there is no ship that is going to be able to pull it free. What are you saying? Now, there is just absolutely no way to bring an iceberg to Santa Lea? We have worked that out. Now, this is how we're going to move the iceberg. All right. We figured that we could use the rocket engines from the Gulf ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it gives me a great deal of pleasure to announce the winning bidder, the Fine Arts Salvage Company. Why didn't we get that contract? You were underbid by approximately $250,000. We've been ripped off. You do business with this man, and you're courting disaster. Somehow, he's been tapped into all of our plans. That's a Mark 83 microtransmitter. That's evidence for our lawsuit. Sir, we're not controlling the bird. That thing's trying to tow us. Rich, cable's into overstrain! Birds broken loose from our cables. There's no way to stop it. That's heading right for San Francisco. That thing is fair salvage, Harry. You want to take a shot at it? You've got a deep. <laughs> this is an official naval advisor warning of extreme hazards to shipping lanes south and west of San Francisco. There is an iceberg adrift in deep current. And now the conclusion of Hard Water. Once upon a time, a junk man had a dream. I want to build a spaceship, go to the moon, salvage all the junkets up there, bring it back, sell it. So he put together a team, an ex-astronaut, a fuel expert. They built a rocket ship, and they went to the moon. Who knows what they'll do next?
Blue Dog 2, this is Jettison Recon, over. This is Blue Dog 2. Go ahead, Jettison Recon. We're approaching Sector Alpha, preparing for photo run. Request an update on the iceberg, over. Roger, Jettison Recon. Stand by. Jettison Recon. Radar shows the iceberg moving northeast at 8.3 knots. It's now 500 miles from the San Francisco shipping lane. Over. Blue Dog 2, did you say 500 miles? Affirmative. The current is faster than anticipated. Make adjustments to your schedule as soon as possible and advise. Did you get a copy on that, Mac? Out and clear. I'll start working out a new time estimate. Roger. Blue Dog 2, this is Jettison Recon. I have visual on the iceberg. I'm commencing photo run. Roger, Jettison Recon. Blue Dog 2, this is Jettison Recon. Going into the first approach. Roger, Jettison Recon. with just the one inch. Would that give us enough thrust to get it out of the current? Yeah, I guess that could work. Sure. That'll give us enough time to mount the rest of the engines and truck it on into Santa Lea. Fine, then that solves the problem. That's only one of the problems, Harry. What? Money. Our bank account is depleted, and our credit is stretched to the limit. You had to bring that up. Maybe we can borrow money from Santa Lea. No. They'll pay us cash on delivery for the iceberg, but not another red cent till that chunk of hard water's anchored safely in their harbor. Then we were in real trouble. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Harry, we don't have enough money to salvage an ice chest, let alone an iceberg. We will this afternoon. I know a money man. Who? Get started souping that thing up. Jettison Salvage. Oh, Harry, this is Faye Delmon at the Santa Lea Children's Home. Oh, hi, Faye. Is there anything wrong? Well, it's Michelle Ryan. Now, I, I don't know for sure, but I think she's run away. Run away? Why? Because of the water problem and finances. They're forcing us to close the orphanage here. I know. Uh, what about Michelle? Well, she's going to have to go to an orphanage in Salt Lake City. How long has she been missing? Two hours. Did you call the police? No, no, because I think she's on her way to see Melanie. And there is a boat that's left from Santa Lea that's due in the L.A. Harbor in about half an hour. I'll be there to meet it. 
Mrs. Delmont, awfully worried. They want to send me to Utah to live. I know. That's why I had to see Mel again. Now, it's not like you have to leave right away. And something might happen that would keep them from closing the orphanage. They put it up for sale today. You shouldn't have run away. Please, Harry. Don't send me back. You just can't. Radar to bridge. Present position of the iceberg is 480 miles south, southwest of San Francisco. Roger. So here, right here is where we mount the rocket tower. With the thrust nozzle pointing this way, that we can push the bird that way to get it out of the current. Right. It's not usually this exciting. We're going to save that iceberg. Really? Well, we're going to try. If that happens, they won't have to close the orphanage. That's right. Can I help? <laughs> Harry? OK. I'll try to work out something with Mrs. Delmont. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. Yeah. Hey, do you know how to use a socket wrench? Sure. What's this Mac tells me about you getting somebody to finance our salvage trip? Don't you remember? I already sent the subpoena. <laughs> hey, speak of the devil. All this industrial espionage garbage. Oh. Did you get that? Oh, Harry. I've got enough problems. They're going to cancel the contract. I've got a fortune tied up in that iceberg. You're going to have another fortune tied up as soon as my lawyers get through with you. Harry, give me a break. I've got enough troubles to break any man. Just one more, it'll be like the straw. Okay. The... Okay. You drop the lawsuit? Sure. What's the catch? We want to salvage the iceberg. Ha! It's all yours. We don't need your permission. We need your money. What? We got to have $30,000 in the use of your helicrane. You're out of your mind. I'm not going to take advantage of you. I'll cut you in for 10% of the salvage. No way. Stay in court. Harry! Yeah? Fifty-fifty. Nope. Sixty-forty. Ten percent. Take it or leave it. Thirty grand! Thirty grand. What happens if you blow it? Well, I guess we're all in trouble. You're gonna need that helicrane no later than Sunday afternoon. This is Blue Dog 2. The iceberg is now 410 miles south, southwest of San Francisco, moving at 13 knots.
would you get me the temperature probe, please? Okay. How you doing, hard hat? <laughs> <laughs> we better get cracking. We got less than 48 hours before the Navy has to destroy that bird. Here, almost ready. Why don't you put it in the ice, okay? Sure. Okay, this is gonna measure the thrust. Now, in order to move that berg out of the current, we're gonna have to generate at least 85 tons for no less than 10 minutes. 85 tons, right. Okay, ready. Okay, everybody set? Close. Yep. Okay, let's fire it up. Four neighbors. By now, they ought to be used to anything. <laughs> Turbo stock. Ignition. Ignition. All right. <laughs> All right, advance the full power. Advancing.
Southwest of San Francisco. Speed is increased to 18 knots. Roger, Blue Dog 2. Well, the engine's okay. Looks like it's mostly surface damage. Here's the culprit right here. Right here. Check valve. Jam. Dumped fuel from the manifold. The engine heat ignited. Well, that means we're going to have to modify the whole fuel system so it won't happen again. How long will that take? At least a day. That gives us 24 hours to get to the ice. Less than that, Harry. Once we modify the engine, we're going to have to retest it. Harry? What? Captain says we can't test the engines anymore. It's too hazardous. You know, I still wish Sam Bishop could have come up with that helicrane. It's taking another day to get here. We got to go with what we got. Engine ready? Just about. Good. Still wish we could test it first. So do I, but there's no time. You're doing a heck of a job, kid. Hey, Mick, how about a cup for me? Sure. Yeah. What about the kid? School's out for a week, and she got permission to stay here until the iceberg job's done. She'll be staying at my house. My wife will take good care of her. I'm sure you want to do this, it could be dangerous. Harry, with an untested engine, you're going to need me. Besides, what was all that talk about us being a team anyway? You know you're right. Let's load up. Mel? I'm scared. Honey, there's nothing to be frightened of. But what if something goes wrong like before? That's why I have to be there. I know it's hard for you to understand, Mel, but someday you will. But if anything happens to you... I'll be back. I promise. Navy's gonna keep the whole area clear of boats and planes. That includes the media. Good. We want no one to get hurt when this engine goes off. Let's go! Let's go salvage just an iceberg. Okay.
helicopter. Over. Captain, Carmichael is calling from the Jettison helicopter. Thank you. Sir. Go ahead, Carmichael. Captain, we're about 80 miles southeast of the iceberg. We should be landing at 0620. Very well. Our position is 260 miles south. Now, you have 10 hours to gain control of that berg before we bring it under fire. I understand, sir. We'll stay in radio contact. You'll have a continuous update. Roger, one thing concerns me. Our helicopters develop rotor trouble, and we have it down for maintenance, which means that we won't be in any visual contact with you at all. There's no problem, sir. In case anything happens to our chopper, we have a life raft with a, an automatic beacon transmitter. Force to use the raft, the Navy can plot our position by the beacon. So you should be able to know when we're clear of the ice. Very good, Carmichael. Good luck. Thank you, sir. We'll let you know when we're on the bird. helicopter is 18 miles from the Berg, and we are 190 miles from firing position. You look at that! That's bigger than town I'd board it! to do it if we attach the Jacobs ladder right here it'll reach all the way down to the water yeah then we can lower the raft on a safety line yeah let's just hope we don't have to use it yeah Hours, 11 minutes. 
34 miles from target zone. Blue Dog 2 is now 95 miles due south of firing position. The Berg has picked up speed and is now advancing at 21 knots. How much time do we have left? We got three hours. Three hours left. Yeah. This is Blue Dog 2. At T, minus two hours, ten minutes. The Berg is now 38 miles from the target zone. We are now 56 miles due south of firing position. Combat bridge? Combat I. What's the status of the San Francisco shipping lanes? Busy, Captain. Despite warnings by the Coast Guard, there are five freighters, two passenger liners, and a super tanker in the lanes. All others have diverted. Minus one hour, 45 minutes. The Berg is 10 miles from target zone, and we are 43 miles south of the firing position. They've got less than two hours. Don't worry, honey. They'll make it. This is Jettison Copter. Go ahead, Blue Dog 2. We're 12 miles from the firing point, Carmichael. Yes, sir. We're just now making final umbilical connections. We're about ready to fire the engine. Affirmative, but you're cutting it too close. The shipping lanes are still jammed with ships, and we'll have to fire. Make all preparations to lift your helo off the ice. Sir, if you could just give us 10 more minutes, I'm sure we'll have control of the Berg by then. All right, Carmichael. Just 10 minutes and no more. Thank you, sir. I'm sure we can make it. We're ready to fire now, sir. Turbo start! All right, we're gonna do this to a five-feet countdown. Five, four, three, two, one! Fire! We have ignition! <laughs> we have ignition and everything's looking good! We're advancing to full thrust! Full thrust!
Bridge. The Berg's changing course 15 degrees north. Carmichael, it looks like you're moving your Berg out of the current. Terrific! It's working! We're moving! Oh, oh, God. God. oh, oh God. God. and we're tracking the beacon from the life raft. And we think they're on it. Can you hold off firing? Affirmative. But only five minutes until the raft is entirely clear of the ice. The berg is still out of control and almost in the shipping lanes. We'll have to destroy it. I understand. We'll contact you when we pick up the raft. Roger. gonna be okay. Skip said Mel was hurt. I know. It's the best I'm gonna be able to do for now. I hope it stops it. Yeah. I think her pulse is getting a little stronger. Good. See if you can get this crate started, huh? Yeah. Come on, come on. I can't, I'm not getting anything. Get the toolbox. Yeah. Missiles clear. We have radar lock on. Very well. Range to target. Range two six miles, bearing zero one niner. Very well. Set for high angle delivery. <laughs> Thank you. 
Missiles at 45, sir. Set for impact detonation. Impact, aye, sir. Hey. You got it? Yeah. Careful. Yep. Easy. Oh, what a mess. Look at that. Look here. There's the one. Did the damage, see? Yeah. Gotta strip this wire and get it back together. Arm all missiles. Missiles armed and ready, sir. Navy's not gonna send those missiles till they think we're safe. Harry, the life raft. When it hits the water, it's gonna start putting out an SOS automatically, and they're gonna think we're on board. When the Navy thinks we're clear, those missiles are gonna be on their way. We gotta get out of here fast. Captain? What's the position of the life raft? Exactly one mile south of the iceberg, sir. Well clear of the explosion. They've got to be on that raft, Captain. Okay. Now try it. Where's the iceberg? On the very edge of the shipping lane, sir. Radar reports at least two ships on collision course with the iceberg. We don't destroy it now, sir. It's gonna be one big miss. Hi, sir. Standing by the fire. Fire. Firing one.
all shipping lanes to San Francisco are now clear. We couldn't solve your water problem yet. Well, Los Angeles is barging our water to us temporarily. Thanks to you. That'll keep us going for a while anyway. We'll keep working on it. Thank you. Oh, and uh, thanks for this. Harry, hmm? how did we afford this? Sam Bishop. Sam Bishop? I thought you dropped the lawsuit. I did. But I neglected to return the evidence. The watch and the transmitter? Yeah, and Sam wanted those back real bad. <laughs> I think it's going. I don't know. What Mel wants to do is not going to be easy. Now, a single parent adoption is still a very, very hard thing to do. Are you telling me that there's no hope? Oh, of course, there's hope. It, it just may take an awful long time. Well, then I'll just have to wait. Thank you. Mel, wait, there's something I have to tell you. While you're waiting for the formal adoption, I've arranged so that you and Michelle can spend as many weekends together as you please. <laughs> Mrs. Delmont, that's wonderful. And now that we're located so close, she can visit you after school. I don't know how to thank you. May I tell her? <laughs> of course. Michelle! Mel. No. 